G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Sean, if you're a first time visitor here, then welcome. Um, get subscribed so that way you don't miss out on future content that is like this. I do a lot of different reviews, tutorials, um, all different stuff that's revolving around technology and how to better use it. And today we're gonna be talking about a webcam from Thronmax. Now Thronmax has been a company that traditionally makes audio products like headphones, like the ones that I'm wearing, and microphones, the one that you're hearing me through. Uh, hearing me through. Um, but this caught me off guard. This is a webcam from Thronmax. It is called the StreamGo HD webcam, and it is a 1080p webcam that shoots in 30 frames per second. It's very much a simple plug and play camera. It comes with a little tripod, which is quite nice, and a little privacy shutter. And in Australia right now, this camera is actually sold out, but it goes for around about $80 in Australia, which is um, not on the super low end, but it's not on that super high end either. It kind of is in that middle ground. And it's actually a camera that I think you guys should definitely be checking out for your next, um, I guess, setup if you're wanting to do like a basic game streaming setup or even for just you know, like webcam calls and video conferencing and stuff like that. We'll also be talking about why cameras and lighting cameras, why cameras, webcams and lighting is important. Um, at the moment, we've got a bunch of lights on and how that plays a factor into how your shot ultimately or how you ultimately end up looking. So if you like this video, then now hit the like button, get subscribed and let's begin. Okay, so the camera that you're currently watching me through is a Sony A7S II camera with a Sony GM, I think it's a 24 to 70 millimeter lens, but that camera and that lens combo costs around about five and a half thousand dollars here in Australia, and I really would not recommend it to anyone who just wants to do the occasional uh, you know, video call or get into streaming and, and that be the camera that you use um, to start at. I would definitely suggest using something like a webcam, which is why we're talking about this, but I just wanted to give you that piece of context first, um, just for like a quality comparison, I guess. Um, the next webcam that we're gonna be talking about is this one here. This is a Logitech Brio webcam. So this currently retails for 305 Australian dollars. It can do up to 4K, it can do 1080p 60 frames a second. Um, but all of this stuff that you're going to be, I guess, watching today, just to keep it a level playing field, everything's 1080p 30 frames. So the Sony, if I go back to that, is a 1080p 30 frame per second feed. The Brio, 1080p 30 frame per second. You can see already there's a bit of a difference there with the uh, viewing angle. And then we're going to go to the Thronmax. So the, this is the, the Thronmax, again, 1080p 30 frames per second. And I mean, there is obviously big significant differences uh, with the lens from a Sony going then to a Brio, which still looks pretty good. You can see obviously that huge mess of cables behind me because we've been making videos all weekend. Um, and then the From Max, which I mean, it's losing a little bit of that um, exposure. Everything's got a much higher contrast. It's not necessarily as clear, but personally for an $80 webcam, I actually think that this camera with this you know lighting situation with a bunch of lights turned on right now, actually doesn't look too bad and if you've been following me on instagram i did a poll and a lot of people actually found it really hard to tell the difference between the brio and the throne max um i guess knowing to choose or how to choose which one actually looked better it was basically 50 50 so that was really really interesting and i guess the reason why i wanted to make this video um and if we go into a grid now you can basically see all three cameras i guess almost side by side and you can see the differences in real time so in the top left we've got the sony in the top right we've got the uh, logitech brio and in the bottom right we've got the thronmax uh, stream go hd webcam so the hd webcam is actually mounted on a little included tripod which comes in the box which is quite nice there's a little shutter on the top there that you can actually just stick on with some double-sided tape that comes in the box so that's kind of cute very very simple and there is a built-in microphone uh, on this webcam as well if you just you know want to get your your video calls done this will definitely do the job 
So now that you've got a bit of an idea of the camera's uh, quality, the Sony, the Throne Max, and the Brio, we're going to go ahead and turn the lights off now so you can see what the low the low light performance is because this is a fairly lit room. We've got, you know, a, a spotlight here. We've got LED strips in the room. We've got, you know, RGB lights on the side. So with my phone, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the two lamps either side of the desk. And then we're going to turn off the LED strip if that behaves itself. So we'll turn that off as well. And then my assistant is going to turn off the spotlight. And now you can see everything is basically pitch black other than the glow that you're going to naturally get from your computer screen. So you can see that the Sony is still holding up pretty well. The Brio is definitely doing an okay job. You can still see the cables and the power board and, um, you know, there's a bit of grain in the video, but it still looks okay. And then the Thron Max, you know, you're losing a lot of that quality, which is, I think, the difference between those two webcams is that the, the Thron Max one, the sensor, isn't quite there. It probably doesn't have the same sort of technology as the Brio. And so in a low light situation, it would be definitely a little bit, um, you know, difficult to make out, I guess, what you're looking at. You can see my face quite clearly. You can see the microphone quite clearly. But if, if it's a if it's a dim room or a dark room, probably don't go with the Throne Max. Maybe go with you know something like um, the Brio, which you can see up in the top right corner. But I guess you know you have to ask yourself, you know, is three hundred dollars for a webcam just for some low light performance really worth it? So let's just go back and turn on one light. So this is the spotlight. We'll turn that back on. And there we go. So already makes a big difference. And now the actual uh, Thron Max camera looks already a lot better. And then, you know, just for fun, we'll turn that one back off. And then I'll turn on just like one lamp. Just like if you've got like a little lamp on your desk, turn on a lamp here. And yeah, a little bit of an improvement. Definitely it improved, um, I guess, the light in the room. We'll turn on another lamp. That definitely made a big difference, that one on the right hand side. So, Getting your lighting, I guess, not perfected, but at least set up in a way where it's going to, you know, complement you and the camera that you're using is definitely really, really important. But for 80 bucks, this camera definitely does a very, very good job, very surprised by it. And if you're just getting into streaming or you want to make an occasional webcam call, video call, whatever it might be, um, definitely go ahead and check out the one from Thron Max. Um, they make great microphones, great headphones. And uh, now they apparently make great webcams as well. And there's apparently a new version of this coming out as well on their website. So once I've got that, I'll make another video about that one. So let me just go back to the Throne Max one for the last second here. Um, if you guys like this video, then definitely chuck it a like. Uh, get subscribed. If you have any comments or questions about this particular webcam, uh, let me know. Um, and now that you're looking for something else to watch because you're at the end of this video, maybe go back and check out um, the one that I did on this microphone, on the headphones and the webcam, and you can get yourself a whole awesome sick Throne Max gaming streaming uh, setup. So I'll leave links up in the corner there. So catch up. Bye.